Um, sorry, OBS keeps telling me that it's disconnected and I don't know why. Oh, now you just see the whole. That's my dining room and it's a disaster. So we're not going to let you see all that. Wow, it actually said something died. That's not what I wanted at all. But anyway, hi, y'all. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, and this is not the unmitigated disaster I think it'll be. Ugh. This has suction cups. So it is thoroughly connected to everything. Okay, because I keep getting a message that OBS disconnected, and I don't like that. <laughs> Let me rinse out this bowl. So, how's lighting, though? Because I have never streamed from the kitchen um, in my old apartment or this one. Okay, because I kept getting that pop-up, and I've never had that on my desktop. And I don't know if it's because I'm from on a laptop right now. Fuck, what's that noise? Okay. So we're going to start with the brownies. Okay, that's just the light, the overhead lights in the kitchen. If I start really doing kitchen streams, since this works... Um, we will actually start. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best position. Oh, that is not where that goes. There we go. I also can't see the laptop easily. I did not do this right. Yeah, this is just the overheads in the in the kitchen itself. So Also, I'm not great at the mixer. Lamia has been in my house. So So we're going to make brownies, but I'm changing a couple things. I'm not putting gravy in there. That's for the turkey. Um, I'm going to add a little cocoa, and we're going to add chocolate whiskey. You go over here because you're in the way. Hey, Rudo. Rudo, how are you? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a good um, angle on this. I also was not trying to show, like, my whole dining room because it's a mess. So, yeah, uh, we're not putting coffee in this, though, so... Coffee's going to have to go on the other counter. It's in the way. And a thing I learned the hard way was to uh, grease your pans before you actually start mixing your baked goods. Because when you have that and you're ready to pour, it's better just to be able to pour it in the oven. It worked. I can't believe a kitchen stream is happening. Um... Not bad, y'all. Uh, I should tweet that we're doing stuff in the kitchen, huh? I'm bad at this. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I have... Now I'm like, people can see my kitchen. I need to do every step perfectly. Oh, yeah. Eggs are important, aren't they? 
So funny, not funny story. I was going to make cupcakes. But the person who was doing the shopping, because I did such a big order, they could not find... Um, They could not find disposable um, cupcake tins. And I have cupcake tins, except they are way at the top of my kitchen. They are literally in the, in the counter over my microwave, and I cannot reach it. A knife to meet you, yes. Those are the kitchen blades that fucked me up, by the way. When I went to the ER and cut myself, those are the knife blades that got me. I need eggs. That's what I keep wandering around for. And this is a pre-made cake mix, brownie mix. I absolutely do not need to do this in a mixer, but since I've got the mixer, we're going to use it. eggs that's what I was looking for I needed eggs anyway yeah those are the lovely knives that uh, sent me to the ER y'all so question for the chat when you bake do you spray with Pam or do you use um, do you use butter to grease the pan Because I grew up with a grandmother, a southern grandmother, who very much took butter out and greased everything that way. Okay, good. So I'm not alone in this. All right. Now, here's the question. Okay, this is already kind of used. I also need to learn how to preheat my oven. You all will laugh at me. I'm turning the oven on to 350 to bake. Oh, yeah. So I just find it hilarious. Oh, that's the mac and cheese recipe. You go here so I can read it. And the brownies are also at 350. This works out great. Hey, Dimples. Yes, I know the oven's on. What up, Dimples? All right. So while I'm while I'm doing this, what is everyone up to? For those of us in the U.S. Um, are you doing anything today? Or are you just chilling, having a nice quiet day? Hey, Chanel, how are you? Uh, it is not Thanksgiving in Canada. You know, it's funny, it took me several years to realize Canada celebrates Thanksgiving on a different day. Oh no, Harvey. Because didn't you say Tuesday in my chat or Kelly's chat you were going to make your greens? Um, nice. Oh no, Rudo. Oh hey, a hype train. Thanks, y'all. So this is... So this is uncharted territory for me, y'all. Um, but now that we know the Mevo will work plugged into my laptop, uh, I'm kind of excited. Not that I cook a lot. Don't get excited, because I am not a culinary type streamer. This will not become regular content. But since I got to do all this shit anyway, why not bring you all along since we figured out a way for the Mevo camera to work? Oh, I'm sorry, Broken Seals. Um, yes, I am using my hands. My hands are clean. 
Also, me and my partner is the only people that's going to eat it. But we don't do that. You know, I'm sure you all have seen the people that, you know, every, every Thanksgiving, there's somebody who winds up as Twitter's main character because they fucked up the turkey. Um... Now I gotta wash my hands again though because I have got grease on them and we haven't even started the, the batter. Rando question. Do you all keep liquid soap or bar of soap in your kitchens? I have both, but I never remember to charge the soap dispenser, which sounds like such a bougie fucking thing to say now that I said that out loud. But with the pandemic, I bought wireless, uh, no-touch soap dispensers for the kitchen and bathroom. And I realized, God, that sounds bougie as fuck. Okay. Alright, so now we can actually... Uh, start putting things into this uh, all right water oil egg in a medium bowl so it's a quarter cup water and two-thirds cup oil and two eggs uh, I am making a whole meal Chanel because my partner wanted to come over um, and despite, despite not wanting to, I'm now going to be cooking a whole ass turkey. So, um, I tried to get just a turkey breast and the person who was doing the shopping for me at Instacart said that he could not find just a turkey breast at all. So, I wound up with a whole turkey. And I may start prepping that. Uh, no, because I don't have a disposal. I do have a dishwasher now, though. Um. Ooh, nice. I'm probably going to slather, but like put butter pats on the turkey. Um, and if I can, I'm going to put, I have the mac and cheese and the brownies in at the same time. So they are the same temperature. I don't need that ham right now. I was going to make the cake, but brownies just feel like they work better. Why did I move that? I need it. Just regular butter? Uh, the usual way, I'll make cheese sauce. So when I make it from scratch, from scratch, um, I will make it, um, make the cheese sauce, bake it, do, layer, do layers and bake it in the oven. And it's just salt, pepper, a little garlic salt, and a little bit of mustard. Okay, two eggs. We are not... I am not doing this. I'm not getting egg whites separately. It ain't that fucking serious. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna die of cholesterol, fuck it. I'm gonna enjoy every bit of food I can. Okay, those are the eggs. We're good for now. I am surprised this is working. I'm kind of excited. Okay, two-thirds cup of oil. Uh, but I actually, it's been so long since I um, have made mac and cheese from scratch. I actually looked up a recipe and printed it out. And I'm glad that the Opera Geek told me about Alton Brown's recipe because almost every recipe I searched for was just make cheese sauce no measurements no nothing all 
Um, and this mixer actually was a gift from Matt and Marisha for my birthday last year. And the Instapot is a gift from Harvey. And I just uh, used it the other day to make stew. It was from last year. Because I put like things like an Instapot, a stand mixer, on my wish list. Because I'm like, I'm in my 40s and I don't have any of these grown-up appliances, you know? Okay. Oh, nice. So this mixer, it is not a uh, KitchenAid. It is Aukma, A-U-C-M-A. It's just as good. So this is me doctoring up the, uh, the brownie mix a little bit. This is definitely not in the recipe. Yo, Instant Pot saved me. Harvey legit has like saved me a couple times. So I'm gonna put a half teaspoon of cocoa in it and then a quarter cup of this chocolate whiskey and then the, re the actual recommended uh, water because the whiskey is gonna kind of burn out. I'm also usually never this neat while cooking, so this is a rare thing for you all to see. So it was funny because I was in I was in um, Ferwick's chat, and I was like, I don't want people to judge me. Um, actually, I don't need the mixer. I can just do this in a bowl because it says mix. So we're not going to use the mixer itself. I'm just going to get a wooden spoon. Because I actually read the instructions. Because, go me. So, fourth cup of water. Oh, that should be cold water. What am I doing? And one thing I might do is actually use the mixer for is do a bit with the frosting. Mandy, hello. Oh, this hasn't been opened. We are getting to christen this whiskey by opening it because I thought it was open. Good job, me. Hey, Curthy. Hey, Nick. Yes, inaugural baking stream. Please go tell Twitter, because I didn't. Oh, God. We may not have whiskey in here. I can't open this. Hey, Pablo. I may have to open the kitchen. Oh, there we go. Let's say I may have to open the back door, because it is warm with the oven preheating. So yes, this is a quarter cup of chocolate whiskey I'm putting in here. I was thinking of adding chocolate whiskey to the frosting and whipping it further. Uh, it's so-so. Let me actually open the back door because I took I had to take the trash out. Um, it's not bad. It's probably hoodie weather. Although having the back door open means I can't easily get in and out of the fridge, so I'm going to leave the door cracked. Hopefully nobody tries to come in. Hey, Abbas. We're doing a uh, cooking stream today. And yes, I did, but it is a pre-boxed, pre-made mix, because I ain't, I ain't a kitchen person like that. Now, spoon. Where are the wooden spoons? Not in there. I have wooden mixing spoons. The question is, where the fuck are they? Those are chopsticks. 
We may have to use the, the mixer because I cannot put my hands on the uh, wooden mixing spoons I keep. And that's for pasta. Also, my partner's about to get a spare set of mixing measuring tools because I bought two sets by accident. Ooh, that'd be good, Harvey. Yeah, I'm having the, I'm pretty sure I know where those wooden spoons are, unless when I got my place cleaned, once more, they put shit away and I can't find it. Which has been the dearth of getting my place cleaned. Ooh, the whiskey is an interesting taste. So here's the fun part, me learning to use the mixer. Pirate, we made a kitchen stream happen. Hello. Amazingly, I made a kitchen stream happen. Me, the nascent baker. Like I said, don't get excited, y'all. This may not happen often. Hey, DC. Okay, I'm not going to lick the spoon because that is nowhere near mix. That will be salmonella. That will be a salmonella stream. <laughs> oh, I distracted myself earlier talking about uh p cooking turkeys and whatnot uh someone i follow on twitter i'm sorry who leaves meltables in an oven what hold on after i got my house clean they stuck dishes in the oven and i didn't realize it oh no let me, shit now let me check Okay, there's nothing in the oven. I'm like, oh, God. Um, no. Uh, pirate, you say that? I s literally saw a tweet this morning that was someone talking about her aunt that left the turkey. Now, get this. Left the turkey in the oven overnight with the stuffing because there was no room and they were going to cook it anyway. And I'm just like, apparently... Apparently, this for real happened, and I'm just like, bitch, what? And yes, I said that. By the way, if you are bothered by me saying things like that, today is not the stream to come in here, because I literally had a bitch what moment, like you said. Not left the turkey in there for like 20 minutes while you needed counter space. They left the turkey in there overnight. And apparently this person made a TikTok about it and her aunt found it and is real mad. I'm pretty sure I retweeted the tweet. But I'm sorry, if you do some corny, dangerous salmonella hour shit like that, that is the time... That is when everybody should get to clown you. There is no coming back from this. That At that point, you deserve whatever you get. Hi, Mojo. You heard me. Let me see if I can find the tweet. I may have retweeted it. Uh... Apparently OBS disconnected. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't retweet it.
Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then um, do a little bit more of a mix before this goes in the oven. But you heard me correctly. A woman tweeted today that her auntie, the auntie that apparently is not allowed to bring food to any family function, stuffed the turkey and left it in the fridge overnight because she had to cook it anyway. I'm like, you all heard what the fuck I said. Okay, that may have been a little too much extra water, but we'll, it'll, it'll be okay. All right. No, 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 no. You heard what the fuck I said. Oh, the oven turned back off. Hey, that's a safety feature. I'm glad of that. The oven turned off when I did not actually put anything in it. So... Make sure this is all actually mixed because I see some spots where it didn't quite hit the bottom of the bowl. Stay. But this is why you can't eat at everybody's house. Now, I may not be a great cook, I may not be able to make shit from scratch, but I have never in my life left a turkey overnight and then thought to try to cook it like i feel sick just thinking about how bad that turkey must smell when she opened the oven door i don't know shears i don't know but that's one of those moments where you're like not everybody should be allowed to cook. And this is, again, why you don't eat everybody's food at the holidays or at the office potluck. Um, because there are some people that just straight up are nasty. Or the people that do cooking streams, and this is me being a little shady, where you see they've got their pets on the counter or they touch their animals and then go right back to cooking without washing their hands. And I'm just like, did you actually just not? <laughs> your, your ADD ass. I don't think it even has to be ADD. I think it's just merely some people are nasty and don't know how to cook. And they're going to kill somebody. With their cooking. Oh, I may have just needed one one tray. I maybe not needed the other one. This is not going to fill this. Cat litter, cat hair. Okay, I just needed one one pan. That was my goof. But some people are just nasty. We all had that one person where when there was an office potluck, nobody said it explicitly, but we all knew not to let that person cook. Or if they brought something, it was put, it was accidentally never actually eaten. I didn't like my coworkers enough to go through the effort of cooking for them. And if any of them are ever watching the stream, know that I never liked any of you motherfuckers. Okay, I need a better spatula because this is not getting it.
One moment. Alright, so I gotta figure out where to move the camera to do, to... Oh, oh is that in... Nope, that's... Oh, fuck me. Why did they move everything in my kitchen? Sorry, I'm looking for, like, an actual just proper spatula. Which I can't seem to find. Alright, I'm going to rinse this off and just use this big-ass serving spoon. Well, I was lucky in that when I had a cat, um, Genki could not have cared less about... about what I was doing in the kitchen. As long as it, he could get to his food bowl, he did not care what the fuck I was doing. So, also, I can really smell the whiskey. Um, I'm debating adding, like, dumping the whole frosting container in here and adding more whiskey. Or adding just straight up whiskey and seeing how it tastes. Because I've got that chili whiskey that Panda gave me. It's got like, um, it's got pepper flakes in it. And I'm debating how that would taste on whiskey. Like in, well, in frosting. So it would be basically spicy, spicy whiskey frosting. It's a thought. Y'all should know that I am usually never this fastidious in the kitchen, but I feel weird that people are watching me do all this cooking. So I've got to actually move the camera so that it faces the stove. Hopefully that's not too motion sickness inducing. Cause hey, we gotta make the 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 mac and cheese sauce. And I forgot what to do with that pan that I oiled by mistake. Oh, hold on, I gotta catch up on chat. This is fascinating me. Um. Excuse me, what, Pablo, are you replying to someone, or... I'm kind of walking back and forth in the kitchen, so I'm not... I'm not doing a good job of keeping up on chat, unfortunately. Oh, that is strong. Oh, it's preheating, okay. All right. Brownies are going to go in the bottom. My my um, oven is also smarter than me, y'all. Okay, I'm going to soak this and then decide if I want to try something different with the uh, with the frosting or just leave the frosting as is. Because also my partner does not drink. I'm trying to be mindful of not dumping a bunch of alcohol and whiskey into stuff if, because he does not drink. In the brownies won't make that much of a difference. What'd you say, pirate? Pirate gets attacked the stream. No, they won't. If anybody came in your stream and attacked you for cooking, I would be out there to fight them. Because if you're doing that, especially as a charity incentive, that'd be really shitty. And it would be a fight. All right. Now I got to dig out a pot. 
I need to wipe off the counter, dig out a pot, and uh, decide how much mac and cheese I need to to cook. So you get a view of the stove while I'm doing this. Maybe I should do cooking streams more often because I'm way more fastidious with people watching my kitchen. You're barred from cooking un under the... Pirates! Sweet Jesus. I'm pretty sure that is not actually true. Alright, now let's see how this is going to work. All right, you can see you can see the stove. All right. It's also now very warm, so the back door really is going to get open. And I need that recipe. Wow, shears. Wow. Where is that clip that I had? Aha, a clip. Yes. I need I need directions. Oh no, don't give DC ideas, please. Um, oh, Mandy, you can now see the basket of yarn I was referencing the other day. All right, I need to... Um, can someone do me a huge favor and Google that? why OBS does that because I have no idea why it keeps stopping and starting. I am very confusion. Also the heat just came up so let me close the back door. The heat came up because I opened the back door. Um, I don't know if I have mustard. Shit, I thought I had some. Nope, that's more nutmeg. Ah! God damn it. Well, as Mandy would say, I have no idea why the why OBS keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Just randomly stopping the stream. And it comes back immediately, but it did break the stream. Like, now I've got a bunch of mini stream, mini VODs. So I'm going to have to download them and put them all together, I think. This is so irritating because I have no idea why it's happening. Unless my Wi-Fi is not very strong. But it's supposed to be the 5.4 gigahertz, but nothing, I'm not doing anything else. Um, but this is frustrating because if I don't have a strong enough Wi-Fi signal in the kitchen, then... Oh God, it is so hot in here now, y'all. Okay, but we actually need, what do you call it? A pot for the macaroni. Oh, God. That's to make the cheese sauce. Uh. Y'all, I have so much bullshit in here. Also, I need something to bake the mac and cheese in. Unless I put it in one of these disposable dishes. Ow, everything hurts. <sighs> Sorry, I did not mean to give you my butt. Stay. All right, timer.
That was the top of that pot that I just told to stay. Um, kitchen where you probably have a bunch of devices. Yeah. Well, hopefully it stops because I'm done with the mixer. And the stove should not interfere with it, I hope. We can hope. All right. All right, while I... um. try to figure out why everything keeps breaking because if the wi-fi is not strong enough so this will be the first and last kitchen stream all right a half pound of elbow macaroni which is half of this box half the box is three quarts of water Oh god, I have to do math. What the fuck? Hi, base. How many cups is three quarts? My brain is just like, what? That can't be right. That can't be... No, that can't be right. It says 12 cups of water for half a box of mac and cheese. Hey, Boo Day. That positively cannot be right. That cannot be right. Oh, I'm a doofus. It says three. That can't be right. That says three quarts of water. But three quarts of water is 12 cups. That cannot be right for half a box of mac and cheese. Who wrote these instructions? I know, I looked that up and that doesn't seem right. For half a box of mac and cheese? That seems like too much. Hey Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Um, that just seems like way too much water. But to be safe, I'm going to get out the big-ass pan. This will be for making the cheese sauce. And I need to rinse that. Because it's been in the bottom of a cabinet since I moved in here. That just seems like a lot of water to boil half a cup of, ma of dry macaroni. From what I remember, macaroni does not expand that fucking much. Misty, hello. Yes, we're baking, and I make uh, the brownies are in the oven, and we're about to start the mac and cheese. And I'm having like an existential crisis about the amount of water it wants. Also, I don't know if you can tell, Misty, I have your towels on the on the stove. I'm going to put in four cups of water. That just seems like a lot of water. Because QT is still a measurement for quart, correct? That just feels like a lot of water. Well, it doesn't matter if it sticks together, Nick, because this is going into mac and cheese. So I'm going to put in eight cups of water. Then if I really, really need it, I'll add more. I don't know. My brain is just having a hard time with 12 cups of water being needed for a half a box of mac and cheese of macaroni. So like I said, my brain is just struggle bussing. 
And also, I don't have mustard, and that bugs me. I thought I had some. Salt. Where's salt? And how are you, Misty? How was your stream last night? You were also doing a bake, yeah? And this is where cooking, the little bit of cooking knowledge I got as a kid comes in. Because I don't measure shit when I know what I'm making. But when it's a new recipe, I absolutely measure everything to a fault. Hello. Wow. One QT pasta. Oh my Jesus. But yeah, welcome to my disaster of a kitchen. So... It's very hot in here, by the way. I hate this. Well, I only did eight cups of water instead of 12 dimples. Because it's going to get washed and drained anyway. Or cooked and drained and layered in a, in a pan. And if it's a little underdone, well, I don't want it underdone. But if it's a little overdone, it's going to go in a baked dish anyway. And since we're cooking, I'm going to pour myself some wine. Because it's a holiday. And fuck it. I do still, I do still have coffee, but I feel like at this point I deserve an alcohol. And I've got to rinse that up before I make the cheese sauce. And I think once the Mac goes in the in the oven, we'll probably switch back to chatting and on the other stream because nobody wants to sit here and watch a stream and literally wait for things to bake. So <laughs> it's cooking wine. It doesn't count as drinking. Fair, Apis, fair. But yeah, do you want to see the rest of the kitchen? Since we're waiting on literally water to boil. Although the rest of the kitchen isn't that much room, so. Ooh, that got flour on it. Yeah, it was fun getting the uh, the groceries. Because apparently at some point, something landed on the flour. Or they grabbed the flour from the top of the shelf. And there's a hole. So there's... The flour is now just tied up in a bag. All right, I'm going to move the camera around since it's on a tripod, and then I'll put it back. So, oh, there we go. So there's the stove. There's the mess that is the sink and everything else. My one window in the kitchen. Uh, the rest of the stuff, the laptop, say hello to the laptop and the stream. Um, and then you saw this part already with the mixer, so. Yeah, it's not the biggest kitchen in the world. And that's my dining room, which I didn't intend to show, but there you go. It's much more ca counter space than I used to have. Um, I'm going to go stand in the... I'm going to lean in the doorway because, oh my god, it's so hot in here with the brownies going. Um, but I think you can still see me. Ow, fuck, ow. So, yeah. It is really hot in here with, with the oven going. And oh, ironically, opening the back door makes the heat kick on. But I'm going to do it anyway because, oh my god. 
I actually need to just open the back door because it is too hot in here. Now my neighbors are going to be like, what the fuck is this weirdo doing? Yeah, I actually cracked the back door open because it is way too hot in here with the oven going. Oh, and I absolutely did not um, give that enough time in the oven. Okay, the water's boiling. Yay. So. Look at me losing the mac and cheese. Misty, who are you all doing? Um, is it just you and Nerbal today? Or if you feel like answering. So. So that's cooking. Let me get a, a spoon. Well, my favorite things about having a corner house now home is that I have so many windows. I am lucky. I do have a window in literally every room in the house. Or apartment. I say house like I live in an actual house. Um, but, but yeah, it is actually super warm with the stove going. Uh, this oven is an automatic oven. It is smarter than me. Ow, shit. Not me grabbing a hot fucking... You know what? I should have put that on the rear burner. I'm smart. This, don't be like me in the kitchen, y'all. Apparently, I'm too doofus to put stuff on the back burner when I should have started it there. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up mac and cheese. That should be on the back burner so I can make the cheese sauce. Ha! Now there's... I got salt in here. How the fuck did I get salt in this? In this? Y'all, I got salt in a pan. Uh, also, be careful if you're like me and you're about to do something incredibly stupid and use a sponge near an open flame. Okay, butter, 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 butter. Three tablespoons of butter. What are you making that you have to peel potatoes and apples? milk you didn't well you also didn't realize it was sugar it was sitting there like it should have been salt um, I wasn't gonna tell on you but that's okay oh it just needs one um, it just needs one one of these. So I love this about the Land of Lakes. It's got a measurement on it. I, even I can't fuck this up. So here's an interesting thing. I did not I so one of the few things my mother did do was make stuffing with meat in it. She would grind up the gizzard, cook breakfast, like Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, ground beef, put sage, bay leaf, and something else in there. I never got the actual recipe. Um, 
And that would be put in the turkey and and stuffed. Three cups of milk. Um, souffle. Nice. Well, damn, I'm coming to your crib next year, Dimples. Now, also note, I am lactose intolerant. So is my partner. It's going to be a real interesting evening. Well, hello, happy capster. Good morning to you, too. So question, if I can keep the internet kind of stable, and I actually get a bug on my ass to do this again for some reason, would you all be interested in cooking streams now that I know the Mevo can work out? Okay. I don't have any onion. I do have a bay leaf and paprika. I do have paprika. You know, pro tip, don't lean on a stove that's on. I don't have mustard. I hate this. I really thought I had mustard. All right, I am always surprised when you all like stuff like this, and I'm not being facetious. I really am surprised. Because I realized what I said earlier, um, I didn't finish my thought. Because, um... I was in Furwick stream, and I was saying... Because Kamesu was like, oh, that'd be great, that'd be fun to do... And I was like, I feel I, so this is going to sound weird. I feel like people would judge me for my kitchen. For my kitchen. Baking from a box. And. Um, and not having like a really fancy kitchen. Starbucks. Are they open today? You know what's really important for the cheese sauce? The cheese. Oh no, I really I need to uh Sorry, I just caught a a problem in my in the kitchen, in the fridge. Remember earlier when I said the turkey kind of bled out? I found where all of that went. Also, apparently, I found something from my fridge that I never took out in living here over a year. That is not part of the fridge. So, bear with me for a hot second. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, that's not going to work out. I have to actually lean down and hope I don't break my head open on the freezer door when I stand up. Yeah, so apparently there's a a rip or something in the turkey package because it bled out entirely on the top shelf. And I just discovered that this morning. As I want to go put it in a pan. That is not the kind of Thanksgiving Day thing you want to deal with. If you hear me yelling, it's because I tripped and I'm going to die. Because I'm a klutz. Did I tell you all that? I'm entirely a klutz.
Oh, thank you for the gift subs. Hey, Bunny, how are you? No, it, Bunny, you never have to apologize for that, ever. Please never feel like you need to apologize for having to stop sub. You moved internationally. Um, I think it's okay. So, once more, this is a giant bag of cheese. I'm doing this by hand. We're just going to melt most of this and some of it's going to go on the cheese sauce or on the actual mm. Also, I'm not putting breadcrumbs on this. I refuse. I'm sorry, what, Bunny? Uh, which headphones, Bunny? Oh, which ones did you get? I'm not sure about this put a bay leaf in here, so I'm going to ignore that part. Um, oh, the flower. Shit, I forgot the flower. Good job, me. Um, I knew I was forgetting something. It says three tablespoons of flour. Oh, the G733s. They are ones that I've had for a while. Sorry, I'm looking. At, oh, I do have flour that's already open. I didn't need to buy a five pound bag of flour. Good job, B. These are the ones I usually have on when I'm streaming from the PlayStation. Uh, where did I do? Where did I put those measuring spoons? There we go. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I hate this. Sorry, I hate making a mess. Even more so since people are actually watching me. Um, can someone in the chat... Look up Alton Brown's um, mac and cheese recipe, because that is what I'm using. Oh yeah, this is a whole ass disaster, y'all, on this side of the screen. Well, that goes there now. Yeah, you all usually don't get to see these because I use them with the uh, with the PS5. You don't have a gas stove? Okay, this needs more cheese so it can get thicker. So I'm actually putting in two kinds of cheese. The recipe only calls for sharp cheddar. I'm adding in Monterey Jack. Where is the top to that? There we go. My partner has a electric stove at his place, and I'm always like, why? 
Ah. Uh, um, this is taking a while to melt. So I may turn it low and go get a quick bio break. Um, but I am putting multiple kinds of cheese in this, at least Monterey and cheddar. And I'm really annoyed because I, I, that is one thing that I knew. It's like a teaspoon of kosher salt. So I've also been like sipping coffee. I don't understand temper the egg. What does temper the egg mean for those of you that actually cook and know what the fuck this is? This is where I need like Brian to show up or Misty to come back after her Starbucks run. I have breadcrumbs. I refuse to put them in here. Okay, that's helping the pasta actually boil again. Put a little more um, cheddar in there. Wow, I got flour everywhere. Well, this is this is a big ass bag of cheese. I'm not putting all of that. Uh, is that better, Pirate? I think the I think the USB key was weird. Okay, hang out, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back because I desperately need a bio break. And uh, then we'll start making the mac and cheese once I check the status of the brownies. Nope, the kitchen stream is, is an experiment. We'll see how it works. But I need a bio BRB.
I'm back. And I see the cheese sauce is cheesy. I'm pretty sure the, uh, oh, that is a lot of cheese sauce. I think I'm going to get out the baking dish. And move back over to the counter. Because that is a whole lot of cream cheese. That is a whole lot of cheese sauce. But first, let me get the mixing bowl out of the sink because I need to rinse. Um, I need to rinse it, not rinse, drain the macaroni. And, uh, and this is probably just going to be trash. And it is in the way. Also, I may need this spoon. But first, we're going to check on the brownies. Because they may be done. Because that was a 25-minute timer. And it said for a 9x9 nine nine pan, 28 minutes should be ideal. So. Also, I'm still debating on whether I want to doctor up the frosting or leave it as is. Because I also bought a cake mix, and I was thinking about making whiskey brownie, whiskey cake, or making cake as is, and then, um, and then doctoring up the frosting. So, that's gonna, that's gonna be an adventure. All right, bye, Pablo. Have a good one. Hey, Sam. Happy Thanksgiving. How's everyone doing? Yeah, basically, I would just take pre-made frosting and add whiskey to it and whip it up. How goes, Sam? Not me not knowing how to use my own mixer. There we go. Now it's out of the way. That's out of the way. Uh, but first, let's check on the brownies before we move the camera. Because I've made a whole ass mess on top of the stove, y'all. Let's see how the brownies are doing. Don't be sorry, Sam. Hello. Uh, Sam, did you get a thing for me via coffee? Ooh, brownies. They look good. Uh, dang, nabbit. All right, let's see if this is actually... You're welcome. So... Who did the old trick of using spaghetti if you didn't have toothpicks? You're welcome. Spaghetti. Well, some of it's off camera. It's more on the other counter you can't see. Oh, nope, it is still a little, it's still a little, what do you call it? Yeah, Fawn, a lot of times if you didn't have um, toothpicks handy or just were broke and spaghetti was around, you may not have had toothpicks readily available. I didn't always have a pack of toothpicks sitting around. Um so, hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Um, should I do one? No, I'm going to use the disposables because I just realized. One big glass pan is going to... Um, take up so much room in the fridge if we don't eat all this mac and cheese. So, I'm going to use these disposables. See, me and knives have a history. I am not using knives. 
All right, I'm gonna switch the uh, the camera again, so we are looking at the counter. Oh, I moved the laptop. I'm like, why don't I have any room? Oh, because you moved the laptop. Oh, no, that's that's fine if it's not a butter knife. So I'm probably going to need all three of these. What is in the sink? There we go. Because I still need to drain the mac and cheese and put it all together. And I don't want to do that in a sink full of uh, detritus from the mac and cheese. So uh, you get to listen along while I do this. Hello, hello. All right. Um, oh, I need to rinse that. So you can hear me, I hope. I need, I'm need. i trying to rinse out the sink so there's nothing in it when I pour this mac into it. Um, nope, that's hot. Oh, nice. Ooh, oven timer. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the timer. I'm going to have to use that for the, uh, for the, uh, turkey probably, or set a timer. When I... When I, um, or set a timer on my phone because I'm the worst. Oh no. I may do.